As the sun set on that fateful evening, I found myself surrounded by my mischievous group of friends, all grinning like Cheshire cats. I had lost the bet, a foolish wager made in the heat of the moment. The terms were simple, or so I thought, I had to become a cross-dressing maid for an entire week. And just like that, my fate was sealed. The next morning, I stared at the frilly pink dress hanging in my closet, my heart sinking. Reluctantly, I slipped into the outfit, complete with stockings and a bonnet that threatened to swallow my dignity whole. My friends cheered me on as I walked out, my face flushed with embarrassment. I stumbled through the week, tripping over the hem of the dress and trying to navigate the world in heels that seemed to have a mind of their own. The laughter of my friends echoed in my ears as I attempted to make breakfast, my hands fumbling with spatulas and pots. I never knew flipping pancakes could be such a monumental task. But amidst the challenges, there were unexpected moments of laughter and introspection. Donning this unconventional attire forced me to view life through a different lens. As I dusted shelves and fluffed pillows, I marveled at how drastically my perspective shifted. The mundane tasks I had taken for granted suddenly held new meaning, and I couldn't help but wonder why certain roles were associated with specific genders. One evening, as I struggled to curtsy without toppling over, my reflection in the mirror stared back at me. The face beneath the bonnet was mine, yet different somehow. This experience was reshaping not just my appearance, but my understanding of who I was. I had never before realized how deeply ingrained societal expectations were until I found myself on the other side. As the week came to an end, I stood before my friends, or should I say, fellow maids, in a mixture of relief and reluctance. The bonnet had become a part of me, and the laughter we shared had bridged a gap between us. I had come to appreciate the complexities of gender roles, and the joy of transcending them even briefly. After the week-long adventure as a cross-dressing maid, something unexpected happened. As I resumed my usual attire of jeans and t-shirts, a lingering curiosity remained. The experience had opened my eyes to a different side of clothing and self-expression that I had never explored before. With a mix of trepidation and excitement, I decided to continue wearing some elements of girls' clothes in my everyday life. It started with subtle changes, a few colorful scarves here, a touch of nail polish there. To my surprise, these small shifts brought about a renewed sense of confidence and self-assuredness. I gradually incorporated more feminine pieces into my wardrobe. Floral patterns, soft fabrics, and even a pair of ankle boots made their way into my closet. Each piece felt like an extension of my personality, a way to break free from the limitations of traditional gender expectations. Initially, I worried about the reactions of others. Would they judge me or question my choices? To my relief, most of my friends were supportive and accepting. Some were even curious to learn more about my journey and the insights I had gained. The experience of challenging gender norms sparked meaningful conversations about identity and self-expression. Of course, there were moments of self-doubt along the way. The world isn't always kind to those who defy societal norms, and I encountered my fair share of stares and whispers. But with time, I learned to embrace my individuality and stand strong in my choices. I realized that authenticity comes from staying true to oneself, regardless of external pressures. As the seasons changed, so did my style. The boundaries between men's and women's clothing seemed increasingly arbitrary, and I reveled in the freedom of mixing and matching pieces that resonated with me. The clothes I wore became more than just fabric, they were statements of my evolving identity. Looking back, I couldn't have predicted how that initial bet would shape my journey of self-discovery. From cross-dressing maid to a person who confidently blurs the lines of gender fashion, I had embarked on an adventure that allowed me to explore the depths of my own identity. And while the road wasn't always smooth, the path I forged was uniquely mine, a testament to the power of embracing one's true self.